This was the scene of some of the landings made by that reconnaissance in force of August the 19th, 1942. And now the third anniversary of that costly but essential exploit has been marked by solemn ceremonies at Dieppe. Memorial services, tributes to those who fell and the unveiling of plaques were the outstanding features. The thoughts of all were concentrated on the sacrifices made here three years ago in the cause of total Allied victory in Europe. Pictures from a German newsreel recall with vivid clarity the cost of the Dieppe reconnaissance. Here, commandos, already veterans of many beach assaults, and a strong force of Canadians who had been training and standing guard in Britain, went in against the German defences. Survivors stayed and fought for nine hours, but many fell on the beaches. Many were taken prisoner. If any men had earned the right to honorable captivity, these great and gallant fighters had done so. For almost all of these prisoners were put in chains by the Huns. Even though the war is over, it's well to remember just what kind of a people the Germans are. <laughs> Their newsreel, of course, glorified Dieppe as a defeated invasion attempt. The English, they said, hurled everything at us, but we beat them off. And they ended on this note of land, air and sea supremacy, with pictures taken not at Dieppe, but somewhere at a safe distance from Allied shells and bullets. <laughs> We end our story with the march of the Canadians through the town in August 1945 at the anniversary parade. France and Europe are set free. Let us never forget the part played in that liberation by the men of Dieppe.